Hello, hello everybody. Welcome on in. I'm Orion. We are checking out the new updated demo for Entropy Survivors co-op and solo now. So this game does have a multiplayer. Let's jump into it and kind of show off what this game has to offer. There's going to be, this is your, I mean, this is like every other game we play on this channel. This is a, this is a pretty standard uh, horde survival roguelike type game. There's going to be a couple different classes that are all going to have different a few different abilities, uh, like a special attack. Uh, they're all going to have different stats, which you can see here. And they all look a little bit different, which is kind of cool. Um, there's going to be different weapons that you can equip. There's two different types of weapons in this game. There's your frog weapons and then your robot weapons. So your melee stuff is for your robot and then your range stuff is for your frog. And then if you come over here, we have all our meta progression. We have a, a pretty cool tree here, which, you know, it's pretty, pretty standard stuff here, but it, it does look good. The game plays well. Uh, there is co-op and all of that. Um, there's these are all the different abilities in the game. So you can see there's quite a few. It looks like there's about 20, 20 for each uh, frog and robot and then a few different passive abilities. So let's jump into the game. What's oddly enough is <laughs> World 1 is not available in the demo. So for whatever reason, you just go to World 2. I'm not sure why. Uh, let's jump in. Okay, so we have to survive for 20 minutes. Uh, difficulty, Tadpole, best time. I haven't even played this yet. Looks like there's a couple. Ooh, I wonder if these are all a little bit different. That's sweet. Okay, so I wonder if the worlds are actually play different. Different enemies, enemy damage, so they definitely get different bonuses here. Okay, let's just start on the easiest one here. So, for the most part, it's an auto attack game, except you have to shoot your gun. So, you can auto aim, you can auto hit with your sword, but you do have to shoot your, your ranged weapon. So, that's really the only thing that's... Because I know a lot of people prefer the whole auto aim, auto attack, and I mean, I do too. So what is this right here? Okay, we just need to stand in here. Okay, and then we have our ability right here, which is just um, like a little poison area, kind of. Okay, so we have an objective we need to complete. I did play this game oh, quite a while ago. Oh, what the heck is this? Oh my goodness, this is nuts. <laughs> I was not expecting anything like this. This is crazy. Um, I did play this game a while ago, and they, they changed this game a ton. Uh, this game got changed so much. Okay, so let's see. We got Ball Lightning, which is a frog ability. Orbital Mines. Summon a ring of mines that explode on contact. Froggy Launch is a slow-moving ball of lightning that shocks enemies. Uh, or Fire Orb. Summon forth a... Ball of fire that grows with each foe it inflames. Uh, let's try ball lightning. That's that's interesting. This whole pinball thing. I wonder. I wonder what that's all about. Was there something I was supposed to do that I didn't really pay attention? Okay, so now we got ice trail. Leave behind a frosty trail that freezes enemies. Do passive damage to an enemy you touch. And then giant otherworldly hands grab your opponents and smash them together. That sounds like the one to go with. What is this guy right here? Yeah, what are these? I don't know what these are. They're like activating something here. Do these count as my objectives too? Okay, so now what am I doing? We gotta destroy these things. So it looks like we get like maybe a bunch of different quests or something we have to do here. Each each time we break one of these, it's a quest. Okay, so now we get ooh turret. I like turrets. The pulley friendly robotic turrets that automatically shoot at nearby enemies. Uh, Germ stomps out a series of staggering shockwaves to damage hit enemies. And then this is launch a spiral. We're going to try the turret here. Okay. 
I wonder if we can upgrade these more. I, I, I would hope that we can upgrade our turrets because I would like to drop, you know, multiple turrets. I think that would be sweet. Hey, what is this guy? This guy is some sort of treasure goblin. Luckily, he doesn't really run away from me. Okay, so we are completing a bunch of challenges here. I don't know. Oh, oh my gosh, we just summoned a boss. I I have no idea what we're doing with half of these things. This is pretty cool, though. There's there's definitely I mean, you can already tell this game gets pretty crazy. There's already a lot happening in these matches. It's actually kind of tough, too. Okay, we're completing a bunch of challenges. Oh, I should utilize my dash a little bit more here. These guys are tough. I think I made a mistake by possibly summoning multiple of them. I feel like I might have summoned a couple of them, which I probably shouldn't have done. Okay, what is this gonna do? Uh, this gets me okay. I might need to do this health recovery. Uh, bouncing bubbles, trap enemies in soapy bubbles, or fling out spinning boomerang. I'm gonna do the health recovery. Okay. Let's see. Froggy launches a dense wave of heavy bolts, dealing damage and knockback. Summon forth a fire that grows, and then call in a heavy crate from the sky. It takes a while to arrive, but when it does, ouch. Um, let's see. That seems like it does big damage. I think we'll just take the bolt burst, though. The weapons are a little lackluster here, like my gun. I'm not a huge fan of this whole reloading all the time. These guys have so much HP. Oh, sweet. <laughs> it's like a Katamari Katamari stuff where we can roll these guys up. Sweet. That's funny. Did that do a lot? Of I, that doesn't seem to have done a lot of damage, though. Okay, man, there's a lot going on here. Okay, so we can do the... We can upgrade stuff. Um... Let's do, let's upgrade our clap. Is this gonna summon another boss? What is this doing? No, I don't even know what that does right there. Well, we completed another challenge. Lucky us. Oh, this is not good. <laughs> this is not good at all. I have a feeling, are we not supposed to win our first run here? Is, is this what's supposed to happen? Oh, out of bounds, that's BS. Well, that got... That's not good. That's gonna get me killed. What's this thing gonna do? There's so many different things in this game. I guess we'll figure it out as we go, but we're pretty much dead here. I'm gonna need, yeah, I'm gonna need a lot of health recovery. Let's do this. Yeah, I'm not I'm not a huge fan of the gun though. The gun is kind of disappointing. The the reload speed on this thing is abysmal.
Oh, what is that? Oh, that's... that's death. That's what that was. Yeah, this game's tough. This game starts off hard right away, huh? Okay, so we got a new die. We got a new perk point. Some ability gems. Survive, we got some bonus gold. Okay, so at least we completed some stuff. Uh, does it say what the DPS and stuff we did? Damage, enemies... No, nah, it doesn't quite tell us what did the most DPS. Okay, let's obviously let's run another game. Um, so what do we do with these? Can we buy these? Defeat 3,000 enemies? Yeah, good luck with that. Complete mission 2.2. Let's see, what do we need to do for this? Survive for... Okay, these ones aren't too bad. Survive for 12 minutes. Upgrade turret to level 8. Oh man, we didn't even come close to that. Okay, so we can... Oh, we have different... So these are like the different dyes we have. These are cool. Wait, we can enhance our character too. Um, so what is this going to do? Spend... So perk points. Um, so what are the perk points? So that's stuff over here. So let's see. How much gold do we have? We can increase our health more. We can do frog damage. Let's do like frog damage and germ damage. And then let's do more health. Okay. What do we do with those perk points, though? Um, spend perk points to unlock extra slots. See, I have one slot here. Do I not have a perk, though, that I can do? Enhance. Extra armor. This is, wow, this is pretty cool here. Um... So, let's see. We can get extra armor. How do we earn these things, though? Clash gems. Crystal figures that force onlookers to ponder. What do I be when I want to grow up? Used to enhance the starting stats of classes at the Panda Statue. Dropped by defeated enemies during missions. Not all missions. Not all missions drop all types of gems. Interesting. That's kind of cool. So, you can get starting health and recovery, armor... Class skill stuff. Um, what do I do with this perk point, though? Do I not have a perk point? Let's see, so right here, I have one spot unlocked. Oh, right here. Hammer of the Gods? Okay. Can I buy this? Doesn't matter. Um, I can. So, let's see. Or we could buy... Okay. It, it was a little hard to see these up here. They kind of blend in, so that's, I guess, why I missed that. Uh, fire out a large shield in the direction you're aiming that pushes enemies back, or just get straight up 100 damage. I guess we'll just do the damage. So I have the... Okay, so there we go. So now I just get plus 100 damage. That's kind of cool. And so it looks like you'll be able to equip three of these. So there's how many? Six? Not available in demo. Not at all. Not a, a bunch of these aren't available in demo. But I assume each of these characters is going to have their own tree here, which is pretty sweet. Okay. Let's go run another... Let's go run another round. Maybe we can do, I don't know, slightly better? Best survive time, 6 minutes, 23 seconds. Okay, this time I'm not going to summon multiple of those robots. So I think these are... These are kind of random items. Um, but those quest objectives... That's what was summoning those bosses. So what does this thing do? Okay, this, this looks like this gives me XP. So let's see. Deploys rift in space-time that slow down an enemy and projectiles passing through. Uh, that traps the enemies. And then this one calls down falling stars. Catch one to momentarily teleport to another dimension where you cannot take damage. Huh, that's interesting. I guess we'll just try this one. Deploys rifts in space-time that slow down an enemy and projectiles. <laughs> So it's so the arrows are just pointing me towards nearest objective things, not necessarily quest objectives. 
Although I guess I don't really know if there are quest objectives. Uh, wall of fire, sticky nades, tuning fork. Place a giant tuning fork that resonates with any damage you do. Froggy flings timed explosives into nearby foes. Get it off me! Or summon a barrier. There's quite a bit of abilities here. Let's do the sticky grenades. See, so this thing right here, is this what's summoning these bosses? I want to see. Yes. Okay, so can't summon a bunch of those at one time. That's a, that's a big no-no to summon a bunch of these. That was our mistake last time. And then these things are just gonna give me like an item or some weird, yeah, like a weird pinball thing. I don't really know what the benefit of a pinball thing is, I guess. Oh, when I got the 100 damage, it wasn't actually giving me 100 damage, huh? Was it just... Was that my class ability that it's just upgrading? Hmm. So, because this thing seems to summon a hand... Okay, let's do... Summon momentum storing bowling balls that absorb damage and carry it into enemies. Smack it, or smack it around with a space and watch it go. Or we could do the turret. Let's do the turret, because I want to... I mean, I doubt we'll be able to level that up to level 8 at the pace we're going, but... Okay, so this was the same thing. Do I just... I wonder why it's pointing to that. Probably because I have to kill the boss still. Okay, upgrade thorns. Um, do passive damage to any enemies that touch you. Summon a bowling ball. Let's do the bowling ball. Come on, we summoned another boss? I don't know how we're doing this. I definitely don't want more bosses, though. Okay, let's do the turret again. I need to figure out this weapon, though. This weapon is super annoying. Okay, Paladin class. That seems probably like the way to go here. Yeah, so Hammer of the Gods, that's our ability. So it does 100 damage now. It's going to do 150. But we're going to get class skill cooldown and then better area it didn't quite do it where I thought it was gonna do it I think it was it because I dashed out of the way at the wrong time or something.
All this shit again. This is this part's kind of lame. <laughs> This part is, this part is gonna get me killed again. At least I know not to leave though. Okay, let's do the upgrade armor. Um, let's do that, cause I'm basically dead again. Okay, I can get out now. Some sort of challenge complete. Okay, we completed another challenge. Okay, we actually killed a boss. What do we get here? This is a big one. Oh, wow. A lot of level ups here. This is pretty good. So that's a level three turret. Uh, sticky nades, our sword, our gun, and then our time rift. Did we kill the other boss though, or did we just kill one? Oh, here, maybe these are them. So it looks like we maybe killed both of them. Uh, I, I like these double activates. Uh, only a 5% chance, though. That's not huge. Let's do the fire orb. Okay, so this should give me... Oh, this one only gave me one. That last one gave me five. Well, at least we killed those bosses this time. I don't know, yeah, this hammer move is kind of eh. Okay, this is ridiculous. Hey, okay, what is this guy? Well, we set a new record, so yay for us. I don't know, we're just, I can tell we're not doing a lot of damage here. The fact that I'm not killing these guys in multiple hits, <laughs> that, that says something. That says something about our damage here. You know, it takes three sword hits to kill just a basic enemy. So this, are we always summoning bosses with those things, or is it just a pure timing thing? Because I just picked up a heal there, and, and now we got another boss character. I wonder if it's just un, unfortunate timing. Okay, what is this going to do? Oh, that's one of three. So that's another one of those quest things. Okay, let's do... Wish we could re-roll. Let's try that one, I guess. That one seems kind of weird, though. Now, is this gonna summon a boss again? So I'm not too interested in summoning another boss here. Let's just do freeze everybody. So, a rare upgrade for our time rift. Better size and cooldown.
Oh, roll him up. This one's funny. So we hit 56. Bowling ball, an epic upgrade. But there's that turret again. Let's do the bowling ball though. Pinball one really confuses me. Oh, what? Oh, wow, okay. Now I get, wait, okay, so I need to hit that thing. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> okay, I, problem solved. Now we got that one resolved. Okay, so that's two or three for those. That boss isn't dead yet, I didn't know he's not dead. He's almost dead though, but he's stuck. I can see him stuck in those units over there. Okay, let's do Fire Orb. More damage, cooldown. Just one again, that's a bummer. Oh, we got one of those class things though. Yeah, the class gym. All right, here we go. Let's do our sword. Okay, we got two epics. Let's definitely do the fire orb here. Yeah, it it does the the um what's its name? The my hammer, it does like if I dash when I do it, it doesn't quite do it when I activate it. What is this thing? Like it, this is the Gatling gun thing, right? I don't know what that does. Oh yeah, it's a Gatling gun. Okay, actually, let's go see if we can find that third, um, collect 25 power-ups. Let's actually go see if I can find that third tower thing I need to do for that other objective or quest we have. What is this? Oh, it's just a, it's a waterfall. I thought it was like something cool. I was all, ooh, is that a shiny door? Oh my god, I'm stuck. Wait, where'd he go?
I'm not gonna worry about that loot orb. I would rather just go try to find the that three of three quest if we can find that. Okay, let's do the turret again. Okay, give me more than one. Okay, just one again. The armor, I think. I really like the objective markers though, showing me where kind of like the nearest point of interest is. Oh, this is definitely gonna be a new record right here, right? 146. Oh, another roll them up. Okay, let's do armor. Okay, we'll do bowling ball. The fact that there's so many of these two and they keep respawning is pretty awesome. Where's that last one at though? The third quest marker. Next time I should pay more attention to where I go on the map. Okay, we'll do turret again. That's five. a lot of challenges this run oh yeah there we go level six turret that was three upgrades too that was much better i think uh, is the match only 20 minutes though so we might not have much longer here Yeah, I think as a, if I bounce along these balls, I get to stay in the ball longer. So I, I got this now. Who are these guys, too? This sniper that keeps dropping down. So you just drop a bunch of XP. Okay, I don't know if I want to do that. Because I think that just summons a boss.
Oh no, okay, this again. I'm definitely not gonna do that red one. I, I cannot confirm that that summons a boss, but I kind of feel that that's what it does. Okay, let's do... I don't really... I guess we'll just do the time rift here, though. Another challenge complete. This might be this might be a new record right here. This is a huge one. <laughs> they just keep coming, so I keep getting the spawn. My timer never runs out. Oh, it ran out. <laughs> this game's starting to get a little. Is this just how the enemies are? The enemies are starting to get a little wonky here. It's only 20 seconds left. I just want to survive, I hope. Like 15 seconds? No, don't die here. Just survive. Just survive. Twenty. Twenty minutes. Okay, did I win or no? What happens? I thought that was what we just had to do, survive. Okay, well, I probably have to kill this boss. <laughs> We're not gonna kill this boss, I'm dead. I'll just do this thing. Yeah, see, so that's gonna summon a boss. Where's that last marker, though? All right, let's do fire orb. Let's do health recovery. Bowling ball. I don't think we're going to get that turret upgrade either now. need to rely on these orbs to kind of give me some sort of yeah like health health and some nice power-ups roll them up again Is there something over there? Is 
doesn't really do a lot of damage. At least not to the bosses or anything. You guys have so much health. Another butterfly though, we're, <laughs> I mean, I'm really like kind of hanging in on this, huh? I'm just the robot that won't go away. Another health. Man, how, this guy has so much health. Do they keep healing? Oh my gosh, is that why they're healing? These stupid robots are healing them. Oh my god. That's so annoying. <laughs> That's so annoying. There's nothing I can do about this then. I can't kill these guys quick enough to stop them from healing. That's why they're not dying. All right, we're done. That's that's ridiculous. There's way too many, way too many units there for me to for me to kill. OK, so we got a rocket launcher. We got a new mecha. We got a new die. We got a new die again. We got another perk point for defeating five bosses. Another perk point. Another perk point. 25 frog gems. Then we got one of those class, oh, 25 class gems. Bonus gold, wow. I love all these rewards. Look at them all, stack them up. <laughs> so many. That was, that was good. That was a good run, I mean. Obviously, we didn't have I didn't have the DPS to win that fight. There was no way I was going to win. Um, so let's see. We have a lot of money here now. Let's do damage and damage again. How much do I need here? Upgrade more. OK, so let's do that and that again. OK, so what do these do? Decreases cooldown, boost all damage when your health drops below. Do passive damage to enemies that touch you. Decrease the cooldown. Get where's my more ammo? Reload. Yeah, this is something I want here. Like reload faster. Move speed while reloading. Uh let's definitely do this one a couple times. The reload speed is just so long. Okay, we'll do another health. Then we can do. HP regen or boost how quickly entities like entropy spires, XP shrines, and player revival porters are charged up. The amount of health restored by collecting butterflies. Let's go with more damage stuff. Um, move speed while aiming. What is this? Movement speed. Let's do movement speed because that's going to be a cheap one. Okay, so we got some better upgrades here and then let's go check out what our new class was so we got a mecha oh this is the this is the is this the jet one launches high into the air before slamming down upon your enemies 
Okay, so let's do this guy a little bit more. So we can get multiple, like, abilities. Like, these are my abilities, right? So nobody wants to get hit with a big hammer that falls from the sky. Or fire out a large shield in the direction you're aiming. Um, enemies that touch your light barrier convert their health into collectible healing orbs. Your light area buffs all heroes who enter. So when I slam the hammer down... I do, like, an area, and then I assume that's what that's talking about. Can I just buy this one without needing to buy that? Enemies that touch your light barrier convert their health into collectible healing orbs. So I can just buy that, but now I need to equip it. Okay. Okay. So now I have these two equipped. So this should help a little bit with healing then I assume, right? And then what are my class points for again? So I can give myself extra armor. Or what does this do? Unlock the probability modifiers to change how often this equipment appears when you level up. Oh, so now I can level this up more. Like, you know when we level up and I saw the paladin? So... That's actually pretty good, so if I want this to show up a lot, I could put more points into that. I think we'll just go with the straight armor, though. Um, I am assuming... I don't know if I can refund here or not. There's no refund button. I mean, I'm fine with more armor, though. Class area, school, cooldown, robot damage. Uh, so you just buy it, and it's a one-time thing. Uh, okay. I was hoping you'd be able to do it a little bit more, but a one-time thing's okay, so. Okay. And then we unlocked a new gun, too, right? We unlocked quite a lot. So I unlocked a new gun, a rocket launcher. Shoot powerful rockets that explode. Oh, shoot, we can level up weapons, too. Oh, man. Okay, so let's see. Uh, get caught... Oh, so this is going to give me extra jump damage. Listen, stranger, I hear... I hear tell you're so well-armed, even your missiles have guns. Draw. I don't even know what that means. Get caught in your own explosion to turn yourself into a projectile, damaging any enemies in your path. That sounds interesting. I don't know what these are. <laughs> I don't know what this one is. Listen, stranger... I hear tell you're so well armed, even your missiles have guns. Draw. Uh oh man, I I was I was kind of hoping that's what these ones were for were for. Used to enhance the starting stats of frog weapons. Oh, we can enhance. Oh my gosh. Okay, there we go. Wow, there's a lot to upgrade here. So I don't have any points for this, though. But we do have um, frog points. I guess I'll try out the rocket launcher first to see what I want to put my points into. So this can give me, like, reload, damage, base ammo. Ugh, definitely want more ammo. Reload. Just I want really quick reload because that reload speed was ridiculous. Sweet. Okay, this game is sweet. Let's see. Let's actually see how many abilities I have left to... I haven't seen yet either. Haven't seen quite a lot. Oh my gosh, and we can upgrade these. Holy shit. Okay, so like now I can upgrade the turret too to do more damage with these gems. Damage, cooldown, firing rate. And then you can put... Wow, this is so good. This is so good. I love that you can put the probability rates on all these. So if you want to run a turret build, you just put more points into turret. Like if this is your favorite weapon, you put this at 100% and this is going to show up. So for us to get that level 8 turret, you know, we put some points into here. This is so good. <laughs> this is so good. I can't believe we can upgrade all of these things. Can I upgrade this too? No, but we can upgrade the probability chance of it showing up. These are all plus projectiles. Oh my goodness. Yeah, plus extra count. These are these are big upgrades too. Damage, extra projectiles. Duration for these, size. 
This is so cool. Man, there's a lot of abilities we haven't seen yet either. Did we really only get that many different abilities? I guess so. Wonder oh, that's because a lot of these aren't in the demo. That would make sense. So these this bottom half isn't in the demo, and then this bottom half's not in the demo. So unlock, choose his ability. When yeah, so we didn't unlock half of these yet. So there's still quite a few we need to see. Sweet. This game's awesome. Um, the game does get a little chaotic, and I definitely need to get stronger. <laughs> that's for sure, because we did not have the DPS to do half of, to kill any of those enemies, and they kept healing the bosses. So we definitely need to get our DPS up. But yeah, other than that, I think this game's sweet. I love all the upgrade options here. It's really cool. So this is Entropy Survivors. You can download this now. Feel free to check it out. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy these videos, please like, subscribe, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.